Okay guys, I just wanted to show you a little something on the visible light. So welcome you all and I hope you will like the video. <laughs> okay, uh, as you can hear, I'm not an AT speaker. There will be lots of mistake of language. I promise I will do my best. So anyway, okay, so recently I've been reached by PCBWay and that gave me an idea of video. So why not talking about the light, not the colored one uh, for the enclosure, but the one up there inside the lid. Okay, so for that light, I didn't want it to get it on and off through G-code commands because of two reasons. First one, it will take seconds, even minutes to change the light state between two G-code commands. For example, I'm launching a print file. It will hit the bed, home the accesses, and then turn the light on. And I didn't want any delay between the request and the light state. The second reason is that I have Philips Hue light bulbs like that one everywhere at home. And I wanted the same thing on the VisiBot by installing a CWWW light strip. That one wasn't his to say. <laughs> Here it is, up there. Those LEDs can be turned cold white or warm white like the Philips Hue light bulb. So I really like the fact that everything will be on the same color temperature and I really find that pretty cool. So let me show you how it's connected and how it works. Here is a closer look at the LED strip with the wiring hidden in the 23 profile. Then it goes down here through the back panel and finishes into that magnetic connector that I made. I made it magnetic to prevent any damages on the wiring just in case I have to remove the lid and forget to disconnect it. And just here you can see the switch that detects the lid if it's open or closed. Now you have a better look on how it is. Here is the little switch, the magnetic connector and a fitting that keeps my PTFE tube in the right place. Here we are at the back of the printer. The wires come from here, run to the trunking to get here to the custom board I made where the ESP32 is. Okay, let's take a closer look at the board. And as you can see, nothing fancy. On the left side, we have all the pinouts from the Arduino Pro Micro that I'm using a side main board to get more pinouts. And those pins on the right side are from the ESP. And on the other side, we have all the resistors, transistors, the ESP, and <laughs> all those burn zones. So I had to remove some components with the air gun. So it works, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> and we don't mind because I already know that what I received from PCBWay will be nice, clean and professional. So let's see what's in the box. As you can see, everything is packed in this mesh bag and we can already see that we have some goodies inside. And a little LED gingerbread man. <laughs> Nice, uh, LED Christmas tree, two PCB rulers, and those are great. I will definitely use them. Here we have clear resin 3D printed part, and we can even see through it. And if you wanna see more about that finish, on their website, it's called UTR8100 Transparent Spray Varnish. A pen and the PCBs wrapped in plastic bubble. I'm really happy to see how well protected it is. Looks pretty nice. I'm really looking forward to see the final results and I'm pretty sure it will be great. Every component was removed from the PCB and as you can see side by side, it's night and day. Pretty cool. Uh, now I'm gonna resolder back all these components on the new PCB. 
But before that, let me tell you more about PCBWay. You maybe have always wanted to produce professional PCBs, but you haven't tried PCBWay yet. I highly recommend you to visit PCBWay.com. You will see the process is pretty simple. Step 1. Download a PCB or make your own design. Step 2. Go to PCBWay.com, create an account, click on PCB Instant Quote, quick order PCB and then add Gerber file. Upload your zip folder and boom, here it is. The website automatically detects the number of layer and the dimensions. Now you choose how the PCB will be. For a good starting point, I recommend you to only change the solder mask and why not the silk screen color. Step 4. Choose the build time, your country and the shipping method. Now we are done. Here is the price I will pay to finally get great PCBs. So thanks to PCBWay for providing such great services and sponsoring videos like this one. I'm done with the soldering job and here is the result. I'm pretty happy the way it is and looking forward to install it back on the printer. So okay, that's it for today and I hope you liked the video. If you like it, there will be more on the Visibot. And on the next one, I would like to tell you more about my water cooling custom loop or my filament calibration process. And if you didn't like the video, please tell me why in the comment section below and it will help me to get better on the next one. And a special thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and me, I will see you next time. Bye bye.